All right, video number three. Okay, we're going to do another uh, masses hanging from pulleys question. Uh, and uh, this would normally be question number 12, but I've actually made it harder. I've included friction. Now, the question in 12 doesn't have friction, but um, that should make it easier. So in this case now, uh, we're going to do something a little harder, but that way we include everything that could I could ever ask you, say, in a test, or a midterm for that matter, uh, that would have anything to do with this kind of question. So we have a mass uh, 2 hanging over the edge. Uh, it comes along over a pulley. Uh, we'll assume a low, it says they're low friction pulley. In other words, it's not making anything slow down, because if the pulley had friction, this, this entire question would be really weird. Um, there'd be extra friction to think about and, and ask yourself, well, what does that mean? I, I don't know. Uh, but we're not going to do that. But we will add friction between mass one and the ground. So there is friction as this guy rubs along the surface. So the question is, how fast does the cart accelerate and what is the tension in the cable? So this is almost exactly what we had before with the Atwood machine video if you saw that one already. So here we go. What do we do? Well, what do you do? First things first, free body diagrams. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, mass 2, much easier than the other one. So I think it's obvious what we have. First off, what's going to happen? We assume it's not going to move up. It's going. We're, we're going to be moving down. So if we're moving down, then that means we have a force of gravity that is going to be bigger than the force pointing up. And in this case, the force pointing up, in case you don't know already, is going to be your tension. Um, maybe I didn't draw that big enough. Let's see here. Let's make that a little longer. Let's, let's be honest here. Okay, force of gravity. There we go. Force of gravity much longer than tension. So this one, the mass one, Little, uh, there's more. There's more stuff going on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we have force of gravity. We always have force of gravity. Notice how we always do that one first. It's so easy. But I am sitting on a surface, and if I'm pressing on a surface, I have an equal and opposite reaction force from my pressing down, and that will be my normal force. My normal force pointing up. Now, I'm being pulled along. I'm being pulled along quite a bit of ways by the tension the tension. But what have I included? I've included friction. I've included friction. So we actually have a little bit of frictional and we assume we're moving. So we'll say kinetic friction. Yeah, I guess you'll assume that the coefficient of friction here is kinetic since I didn't indicate what it was. So you just assume, well, if we're moving, that's kinetic friction. Um, it does say that it's accelerating. It does say how fast does it accelerate? So you assume this is all moving and this friction is kinetic friction. Now, what did I tell you to do when the last question? What do we do? We have everything drawn in a straight line, which means it would make sense to take this guy and bring him right up like that. So what would that look like? Well, well, let's, let's draw it. Why not? I, I've got nothing else to do except draw it. So here we go. If I take this mass and I draw it upwards. So I'm going to just now I'm going to just say, okay, he's up there like that. I have my mass. My mass two is now right there. And where are, where are my lines of force now pointed? Well, that should be pretty obvious. I'm going to have my tension this way. And I'm going to have my force of gravity this way. And I am moving this is, this is my acceleration. My net acceleration is moving that way, which means, and, and we'll sort of say, uh, that's positive. Uh, to the right is positive. Okay, so what do I do with this amazing information? Uh, I make two net force, net force equations. So let's, uh, look at, let's start with the easy one. The force net for mass two. What is that going to be equal to? Well, what's it equal? It's equal to mass times acceleration. Never forget. Never forget to say that first. Okay, and that will be equal to, now I look at the forces and I just write down how I would say them. I do know that I have 
in the positive direction. Oops, I should I should make my little there we go. I have my force of gravity, positive force of gravity, and I have a negative tension pointed in the left direction, so it's negative. Okay, and I'm done. That's it. And what about my force net one? Well, in this case, oh, I should write this as mass two, isn't it? I should always remember to do that. And remember what I said in the last video. The acceleration is the same for both of them. They're, they're connected by the ropes. So if this one accelerates, this one accelerates at the exact same rate. Okay, so this one, force net one, is my mass one times the acceleration. Okay. And what is that going to be equal to? I'm going to have a positive tension subtract my kinetic friction. Uh, maybe I could write that again. Let me see. That would be mass 1A equals tension. And what is my friction? My friction is the mu times my normal force. And my normal force, I can see already, is going to be my gravitational force. But I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, so what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find out how fast it accelerates. So this is uh, one equation. This is two equation. So just like last time, the best thing to do, the easiest thing to do, because I have a negative tension here and a positive tension here, so if I add them up, my tensions go away, and all I'm left with, uh, the only variable I have left is going to be the acceleration. And that's what I want to calculate right now. That, 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 there I am. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do that right there. So let's do it. Let's just just add. Let's just add them up. What do I get? I have a mass two a. I have a mass one a. That's all on the left side. Then I have a force of gravity. Um, I should say which force of gravity. This this is force of gravity two. I should say that, or else I'm going to get really confused. So force of gravity two minus mu times N, and uh, just to be on the safe side, this is N1, right? Because it's for mass 1. Now, there is no normal force for mass 2, so maybe I don't have to say that, but it's, it's good to label everything properly so there's no confusion. So what do I got? I got an acceleration outside of mass 2 plus mass 1. Pay no attention to that crackling in the background. That is... Uh, that is my lovely lady Diane cooking some dinner. Mmm, there's some delicious dinner. Mm, so good. And then uh, force of gravity would be mass 2 times 9.8, or G if I want. Then I got mu, that's going to be 0 0.2 times what? My normal force. My normal force in this case is going to be my mass 1 times gravity, 9.8. So, uh, what do I got here? Well, I just have to actually start doing some plug-in here. So what do I got? I'm, I'm going to write it over here so I have a little more room. Acceleration times, mass 2, I got 1.5, plus mass 1, that's 0 0.9. All right, that equals, then I got mass 2, uh, 1.5 times 9.8 minus oh, 0 0.2 times mass 1, that's 0 0.9, times 9.8. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. What do I got there, really? Okay, I uh, got acceleration, that equals, okay, 1.5 times 9.8, that's 14.7 minus 0.2 times 0.9.8 times 9.8, that's 1.764, and that is all divided by 2.4, because I brought all this over. Uh, now, what, what what do I got there? Let me see, I got, I got my calculator out. 14.7 minus 1.764 equals 12.936, divided by 2.4. And now I got an acceleration of 5.39 meters per second squared. I've got 
looks like I have a point nine oh that two significant figures uh, digits so five point four meters per second squared is my final answer so what is the tension now if you saw the uh, earlier video you would realize that all I have to do now is simply pick one of these equations I like the first equation that's nice so and then just plug it in so I would plug in uh, mass 2 that is 1.50 times acceleration, which now I know, 5.4, that equals force of gravity 2, so that will be 1.5 times 9.8, subtract tension. So my tension in this case is equal to, equal to what? Uh, that would be a negative 6. 0.6 newtons and it's it's already got the right number significant digits actually that's a negative tension equals a negative so my tension is actually equal to 6.6 .6 newtons excellent well that's it there I'm done so as you can see from this video and and the one before this method of taking the the diagram the picture you make, and then redrawing it where everything's in a straight line really works well. So once you do that, but make sure you do all your free body diagrams first. Do them first. You rotate any line so that now you're all in a straight line. You write out your net force equations. And then it's simply a matter of either substitution or elimination and a little bit of algebra, a little bit of math, and you can easily solve for your two things that are missing. So here I did question 12, but I did question 12 even with an even more additional extra difficulty by adding friction to the whole problem, but it didn't really make anything much more different. I just now suddenly have uh, this thing right here that... Well, did it really cause a problem? Not really. You just had to kind of make sure you took note of it. So that's that. Um, next video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think what we'll do next is we'll look at big, long trains of people all attached by ropes. Because I think a lot of you had problems with those. So if you want, just keep on watching videos uh, to answer any of the other questions you might have had trouble with on this homework. And uh, yeah. I'll see you there.